Hi guys, today we have another unboxing of products and let's get right started. Um, actually, let me start with these ones. These ones I bought in TK Maxx. Um, this one just phew, literally interested me. It was a huge saving as well because apparently the RRP on this one is £250 and they sold it in TK Maxx for £12.99. And it's a serum, so apparently it's a Torikellum. It's from the brand Elizabeth Grand, which I had a look online. You can find that stuff actually fairly well online, also on sale on a lot of websites. Um, I think it's like a Canadian lady um, who does like beauty stuff. This one, I would think though, um, because this is how it came packaged, is probably more like for beauty salons meant, um, which is probably also why it would be so expensive, because how they probably calculated the price is um, the milliliter per price so this is a huge bottle of 125 ml for a serum it's huge so yeah i could imagine this is actually used in um yeah in beauty salons um but i thought i would try it and um I, firstly i liked i quite like the packaging it's a glass bottle which is quite environmentally friendly but then i also thought you know what if that serum isn't as good even though it's such a huge bottle what I will just do it, I will use it up as a body serum. So there we go. Open it up. Uh. There we go. And now let's pump. There we go. Oh yeah, it's quite a um, runny, fluidy serum. Focus. There we go. What's down? Let's spread that a bit. And then let's smell. Okay, smells very faint like skincare not too bad um which is actually quite nice it has only a very very faint smell which i do prefer to be honest either you have a really nice skincare smell or like a spa smell or um a really faint smell i don't like over perfumed um skin products especially for the face so yeah i am quite interested um superpower starter serum so they have like um this ingredient torikellum which uh, which is like especially to them, I guess. Um, but yeah, I can't really say. It says, what well, says actually Belgium? Oh yeah, but it says made in Canada, but the company um, seems to be also registered in Belgium. But yeah, there we go. So got that. I don't want to spend too much time on it. Elizabeth Grant, absolute serum a lot. And I also got in TK Maxx a nail varnish from the brand Le Atelier Green. This one I got because I, oh, actually, let me show you the price. Um, I paid $3.99. Original price apparently is £15.50. Um, it's a big size. There we go. 10.5 mil and it's called Mamma Mia. And I just really liked the shade. I never heard about this brand, to be honest. Le Atelier Green, um, Paris. No idea. But I literally just liked the shade. And it's like a really nice um, purpley color. But also movie touch to it, which I like in their varnishes so that's why i get it got it not get it got it then more products and these ones um i paid for and kind of not really paid for i ordered them in boots um i had so many boots points left over that i could do a whole order without actually paying anything for it because i literally just used up boots points got toothpaste um colgate max wide limited edition i usually get toothpaste what's on offer i think this one was like a pound um and that's what I tend to go for. I don't know why there's extra packaging around it. Although at least it's paper carton, so I can recycle that. But there we go. Max White, limited edition. Um, experiment. Then I got this one. Um, this is the Olay Regenerous Luminous, even skin luminous glow in eight weeks. Brightening and protecting cream. SPF 20. Um, I really liked when I had this um, Olay... Uh, serum um which i finished up recently so i thought oh if, okay this cream because i bought it on a tuesday they have like 10 or tuesdays in um boots and it was only 10 pound instead of 29 pound um which i think is quite a good saving so i thought okay let me buy it and try it out there we go this is how it looks packaging is actually quite nice um it's plastic it seems to be an airless pump because there's a little hole on the bottom that usually means it's an airless pump for the product so let's just oh there we are already Okay, so just a typical white cream. Oh, that smells like cream. You know, like the traditional cream smell, but in a nice way. Um, I like that. So, yeah, 
not much you can see. It, it seems to, it feels actually quite nice. So happy with that. Another big one. I also got um, in Boots. They had like um, a big set from Origins. And Origins I quite like. I have some of the ice, 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 ice cream, eye cream already. And they had like the set um, for £35, which I only use Boots points for. But apparently worth um, over £99. And I always wanted to try their Mushroom Relief essence which I, think, which I think is like a toner um, because I heard good things about it and um, I think the mushroom toner already would be roughly I think 20 or 30 pounds but then you get all the other things so I thought this set was actually quite a good offer and that's why I ordered it so let's get it out of the box okay so, oof. okay this is how it looks like hmm Bit of wasted space but there we are then let's get this stuff out so first okay let me sort it out and then i'm back okay there we are so um let's get started so this one is um gel moisturizer this one is with hyaluronic acid it's quite a good size it's 15 mil so nice for traveling i think i had this one before and i, like, I quite like their ginseng products so i'm happy to have this one and i will use it then this one I never heard before. It's called Check Embellish Checks and Balances Polishing Focus Polishing Face Scrub with Tourmaline. Um, this one is quite a small size. It's five mil size for a face scrub. That's not much. Um, hopefully, I can use it twice, but it's probably not enough to have like a proper opinion on it. But I will I will use it. Then there's also though a face wash. Um, from seems to seem the same range checks and balances frothy face wash and that looks actually when you look at it i don't want to open it really because i have so many open face washes but you can see it through the packaging it seems to be really frothy interesting so yeah i'm looking forward to use this this is a 50 mil size then this is a super spot remover this is blemish treatment gel um i think this is based uh, let me quickly check oh yeah it's salicylic acid um so that usually is quite good if you have, focus, blocked pores. It looks quite interesting. It's literally like a gel. So you open it up and then you get it out. Which, to be honest, it looks tiny. But um, for just spot treatment, that's actually a really good size. It's 10 mil and it's just all you need when you dab your finger on and then dab it on the spot and that's it. So I'm um, happy to try this out. Now these two, I am actually quite a big fan of their eye cream. I have another one of these, it's the Ginseng one. Um, the refreshing eye cream, eye cream to brighten and deep puff. The only thing is though, also this product here by the way, Ginseng Into the Glow Brightening Serum, they have vitamin C in them. So I need to check if I can still use that one because I still have the other eye cream as well and I do actually quite like it. Why does this one not open? There we go. It's like a pinky color, which I also quite like. Um, because it feels like when you put that on the eye. I don't want to say it's like a concealer. But um, I think it also feels slightly brightening just from that cream to put under the eye. So I really, really want to try that. Um, if I can still use it. Um, and then, yeah... If I can use it, I will be very happy because this is for me a full size for an ice cream, uh, ice, ice cream, eye cream. It's a 15 mil size for an eye cream. That's plenty. So very happy with that, especially if it works out. So I will actually try, I might try that tonight. And this one, this um, brightening serum, this is for the whole face. So I need to patch test this because it has um, vitamin C as well. But now, start of the show. So this one was the main product I actually really wanted. This is the Mega Mushroom and Relief resilience soothing treatment lotion um i heard from people it's supposed to be quite good if you have eczema prone skin it's alcohol free um it does say you have to shake before using and then pat on clean skin with cotton or fingertips i usually do that with my hands to be honest um i put my toner on and i started a few months ago putting my toner on with my hands actually so what i will do is i will actually shake it up and then i will put a few oh okay it's foamy there we go because i do yeah it's a clear it's like a water okay it smells interesting it smells it does smell you know the typical like spa smell but in a nice way so i like that and to be honest i'm just really excited to just try this one 
because especially if you have eczema prone skin that might be actually a really good toner so really really happy about that I'm just smell it's still smelling my it's quite a good size it's 200 ml so that should last for quite a while and yeah i will try this one out as soon as possible but that's it for me today this is all the stuff i got recently i really try to focus well apart from nail wash i really try to focus um, on skincare and um yeah need to scale back a little bit though with shopping but i'm still happy that i got these things i'm definitely happy about that but that's it for me today and i'll see you next time bye